What is ransomware? Ransomware is a computer virus that infects the system with the sole intention of extorting money from victims. Its objective is to make the common file unreadable so that it can justify the request for ransom payment in order to restore the data to its original form. If your computer is infected with ransomware, please watch the full video and learn the proper way to remove this hazardous computer virus. Before we begin, please click like and subscribe button to receive updates. This procedure to remove ransomware and possible file recovery tutorial video consists of three stages. First procedure, things to do before removing the ransomware virus. Second procedure, removing the ransomware virus using anti-malware and antivirus tools. Third procedure, possible decryption or file recovery using different options. Here are some important things you must do before removing ransomware virus. Do not connect any important backup drives on the infected computer. Make a backup copy of all the encrypted files including the ransom note and relevant data to a clean media. If there is a need to modify system data like hosts file or Windows registry please make an effort to do a backup first. After downloading the recommended antivirus and anti-malware scanner, please disable Wi-Fi or internet connection. Isolate the computer to avoid infecting other devices. Scanning the computer is crucial for this kind of virus infection. Therefore, please go to the website and download the recommended malware removal tool. Please click the link on the description below. After downloading, please install the program and proceed to the next step. Next, we will need to reboot the computer in safe mode. To do this, please do the following. First, go to Windows Start search box and type msconfig. Then, click the system configuration. Click on the boot tab and click on safe boot. Then, select minimal from the choices. Click on the apply button and then click the OK button. Finally, Windows will prompt for computer restart. Please click on restart button. After booting in safe mode, we will clean the Windows hosts file. Open File Explorer. Then go to C drive. Then open Windows folder. Open System32 folder. Then open Drivers folder. Finally, open ETC folder. Double click on Hosts file to open. Choose Notepad as an application to open the file. Once you open the Hosts file, find the suspicious entries and delete them. Save the file in Close Notepad.
We will also need to delete malicious startup items. Go to Windows Start Search box. Then type Run. Click on Run from the result. On the Run field dialog box type Shell colon Startup. On Startup window, select all the malicious items. Delete the selected files to remove them from Startup. Then, close the current window. Next, we will need to scan the computer to remove any viruses. Please open the malware removal tool you have installed earlier and then, run a full scan to eliminate the ransomware. Delete all detected threats and proceed to the next step. Finally, we will remove the safe mode to start Windows normally. Go to Windows Start Search Bar. Type MS Config and select System Configuration from the results. Click on the Boot tab. Please uncheck on the Safe Boot option. Click on Apply and then click OK. Click the Restart button to reboot Windows in normal mode. You may run additional scan after restarting the computer to ensure that no more virus is left on the computer. Although ransomware is one kind of file encrypting virus that is difficult to decipher, there are still ways to recover files affected by this threat. Hence there is no guarantee that the procedures will yield to 100% recovery of files. As always, there are no one-size-fits-all for the ransomware attack. These recovery procedures may work for some but others may be not be lucky to find this useful. To proceed with the file recovery please click the link below to go to the website. Then, navigate to the specific section about recovering files that are affected by ransomware. As of now we have three options. First is via recommended decryption tools. Second is through Windows previous version tools. And the last one is by using Shadow Explorer. There is no harm in trying these options because you do not have to pay anything. Good luck. Again, please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't done yet.